Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Over here just south of Pita Island, there is a school of redfish running around in here. Um, I've been able to get on it a couple of times, but um, it's been a little elusive. But we're finding them down here uh, just south of Pita. I'm, I'm just going to circle this whole area. This is where they're running. This is where they're... And if you get in here, put the trolling motor down. Don't come in here with your big engine because you'll just spook them out into the channel or move them around. But this, usually I find them with one pelican flying above the school. And then I just get over there by them and cast into them and catch a million redfish. It's pretty easy going. Um, just don't pressure the fish too much because they will they will get out here and come out here in the deeper water over here just south of um, triangle island and this channel here found a couple really nice flounder in here and some black drum fishing with cut bait um, um, not cut bait uh, shrimp on the bottom live and dead both for the flounder and the black drum all down this channel here just south of triangle island over here in the packery channel been finding schools of black drum all around the s curve coming all the way down by the bridge there's been a school uh, pretty easy to find um once you find them, try to stay with them. Don't push them too hard or nobody's going to get a chance at catching them. When I say don't push them too hard, that means don't keep running your boat into them time and time and over and over and over. Try to sit back from the school, let the fish come to you. Uh, get ahead of the school, let the school come by. That is a much better way of getting them than staying on them with the trolling motor in front of them, in front of them, casting at them. Um, the best way to do it is just kind of get ahead of them, power pull down, troll the motor up, and then just let them sit. And then you put a quarter ounce jig head on, let it sink to the bottom with a piece of shrimp or shrimp with the tail cut off. Over here on East Clayburg Point, we've been finding good numbers of trout, uh, I like fishing these clay bark when there's no wind. Uh, that makes it an easy ride over and easy ride back. Um, also, I tend to catch a lot of trout around the rocks, even off the rocks. You know, out here, those fish are looking for bait. You see big rafts of mullet swimming in here. Every now and then you catch a giant dinosaur bull red, you know, 45 incher. Um, there's some puppy drum on the far west side of the point. Just power pull down and throw some dead shrimp on the bottom. And uh, you'll have you'll have a good time in here. The, you know, be respectful to the other boats in here. Um, try not to start your engine when you're in the rocks if you can help it. Over here on the South Shore Rincon, we've been finding good numbers of fish on the drop off. Uh, it's a little shallow to get up in the flat, so those fish are right here on the edge. Just come in here and uh, you can fish the rocks, but really I've just been fishing the drop off. Put the troll motor down, move down, move down, 100 yards at a time catch a couple keepers, catch a couple keepers. You know, it's August, it's it's um, it's hot. Those fish are hot and tired. Um, so just be methodical about it. Move down this drop off, catch two or three keepers per move. Before you know it, you'll have a box of 15 to 20 fish. I'm Captain Grant Coppin, thanks for watching.